Brian, how pleased have you been with the reaction of the side since the loss to London Irish? Uh, I don't think there was needed a massive reaction. I think London Irish were a better team than us on the day. And, uh, you know, they, they, they showed their, their, their game plan they have, which is more Saracens bound when Brendan Venter has changed a lot of their ambition, how they play, and, and they've got some dangerous players. And they took the chances that they created. We didn't play well. We do miss Dean Schofield. We do miss... Uh, Rich Mayhew, we do miss a little bit of physicality around to compete, but yeah, we've not had. It's not been a major reaction to that. You know, that was nine games in, and we lost one game, so it's not really a huge concern. It's just more of that's what they are. They're a good team, and um, you know, everybody else is chasing them, and that's just the way it is. We're seven points, I think five points behind them, seven points behind them. So, you know, we worrying about them is, is not going to do us any favours. We need to change some of our own actions and our own mindsets. We need to be a better defensive. Unit. We need to have uh, you know less errors because that's what happens. We have high errors. We can see tries. Looking at the last game, a very close contest in terms of the score. It shows the mental toughness of the side, though, that you're able to get through games like that with the win. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, as I say, I know their coach is on about their first 20 minutes. He couldn't believe the tempo we played that, and then they they got a sniff back in and they took it. And then obviously we then had to control the game with field position and then use our forwards in that last 15 minutes, which was a great. You know, a great boost for us mentally and physically. I think we showed that we're good at that and it showed that they're sometimes a little bit part-time, struggled a little bit. So that's what happens. But ultimately, you know, that middle 40, as I said, was unacceptable for us. And we all take it on the chin and we need to improve as an 80-minute game tomorrow night. You've already played Bedford once before. What, what did you learn from that previous encounter in the cup? Um, you know, the, the, there was 14 changes or 13 changes I had made pr prior to the league games into that game. So... You know, we, we know they're a decent side to play. They're well coached, they're well, they're hugely ambitious and, and, and the pack's not, you know, there's no pushover. So, you know, they beat us last year uh, away from home and we beat them here in the league at the end of the season. But ultimately, we've got to make sure we, we can't switch off defensively because uh, they've got two tens that will play and will throw the ball about. If people get lazy, they will pick them off. And Friday night at Headingley Stadium, last game against Doncaster was a great attendance, a real good atmosphere as well. How much do you look forward to games like that where you know there'll be a good buzz? Yeah, hopefully we can you know, continually encourage people to come along and watch for the first time, for the tenth time, it doesn't matter. We just need more people here all the time to make it a better atmosphere for everyone. Um, you know, supporters that we have, I know it's, it's sometimes hard to compare with Premiership and, and Top End and the Rhinos, but ultimately we've got to focus on getting as many people here, many kids here, for the first time and uh, hopefully we can put on a, a brand of rugby that you know, makes them want to come back and support. And how important is it for yourself that you take it game by game, not looking just at the table congratulating yourself that you've had one loss because you know if you take your eye off the prize you are going to lose the game. Oh definitely, you can't get too carried away with it so you know we haven't. We've talked about game by game, we've talked about that first 11 game, uh, rounds being massive for us, we've got to round 11. We can't, we can't slip up, you know, as I said earlier, we've got some bumps like every team has, but ultimately we've got to make sure we focus on, on tomorrow night. It'll be a tough game, it'll take a long time for either team to break break the, break the deadlock and, and who can keep away from it, but, you know, we've got to keep fighting every single minute and every single every single game. And do you feel that you've got an advantage that you've been in these tight games and been able to gain the victory because tomorrow night they'll, they'll have a very good defence in action? Yeah, I mean, ultimately it's the players that need to have that. You know, they, they need to manage the game well at the right time. Your half-backs, your, your line-up callers, your decision-makers, your back three players. So ultimately, you know, and we can prepare as much as we wish, but in the game it's them that runs the last 10, 15. That's what was pleasing last week. We need that again this week. We need control all the time and we can't have... A loose game that, uh, that we fell into last week and as I say with 12 errors I think in a row.